back here with another video and today we're going to be looking at this really awesome control that I came up with and this is the performance for it right now so hopefully you guys enjoy this performance. So over here we have a deck of cards that can be completely shuffled and mixed up by the spec hitter, doesn't really matter. You guys can see all the cards mixed up. So essentially what's going to happen is I'm going to be dribbling through the cards just like this and the spec hitter will be allowed to call out stop at any point they want. So let's say they say stop right over there. It doesn't really matter where they said stop. It's a completely free choice. So this is going to be their card over here. So we have the uh, seven of hearts just like this. Perfect. So we're going to take that seven of hearts, leave it right there on top. And I would actually ask the spectator to cut roughly half the cards and complete the cut just so that their card gets buried in the middle of the pack. And now we're going to bury this pile in the middle of the deck. So now their selection is truly lost somewhere within the deck. And at this point, you can have the spectator take the deck, shuffle it up, do whatever you guys want to do, but it doesn't really matter because I've already stolen their card out of the deck, just like this, seven of hearts. So essentially that is the control, and now I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can do this. All right, guys, so now I'm going to be teaching you guys this really awesome control. So this control is a really cool way to take a free selection um, and control it to the bottom of the deck. And then from that point on, you can proceed and do whatever type of effect you want to do. You can palm it out just like I did in the performance and uh, produce it. If you guys want to learn how to do this little production, I will teach that in the end of the video because the main part of this tutorial will be controlling the selection to the bottom of the pack. It's a really, really cool way and it's pretty easy. So this is going to be the tutorial for the control right now. First, you can have the spectator shuffle the deck and it doesn't really matter because you're not forcing the card so the cards can be shuffled. This control I would only use for like an impromptu trick because you really want the spectator to uh, shuffle the deck beforehand. At this point, you're going to just hold the cards in biddle grip just like this or in, just kind of get ready for a dribble. Um, and you're going to be dribbling the cards on the table just like this. And you're going to have this factor call out stop. Now, what I do is I kind of want them to say stop a little bit higher than halfway. So what I do is I kind of start dribbling and then I tell them to call it stop. So I say, go ahead and just tell me when to stop. And I'm already dribbling like before I'm done talking. So at that point, the cards will be stopped around like this region over here, like around Around there let's say they say stop over here and the only reason why you want that is it's just a little bit easier to accomplish this move that you're about to do so let's say they say stop over there you're going to explain that it was a completely free choice they could have stopped wherever they wanted and what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the cards just like this and your thumb is gonna be down here on the lower left corner you're gonna be kind of applying pressure with your index finger and your thumb is gonna apply pressure up because what you're gonna do is you're gonna riffle off um, two cards from the bottom of the pack and you're just going to kind of hold the cards in mechanics grip with your other hand So you're just going to do that you're going to riffle one two hold a little pinky break And then you're going to transfer that to a thumb break as you say all right So yeah, you could have said stop anywhere it was a completely free choice from this point on you're going to take your pinky and you're going to place it uh, from the top you're going to move it to the side of the pack so now the pinky is moving from here to here just like this so now it's on the long edge of the cards and you'll see why the pinky is there in just a minute so now what you're going to do is you're going to take this double here on the bottom and you're going to be just sliding it out so you're going to take both of these cards this is two cards over here since you have a thumb break you're just going to slide them both out just like this and now you can kind of let go of that thumb break and you can kind of square them back with the deck. Um, just make sure these two cards are aligned. You don't want them to split apart. So just make sure they're nice and aligned. And now when you show them the card, it will look like it's just one card here. So you're going to show them the card here. You're just going to lift up your hand and show the 10 of hearts just like this. And remember to keep your pinky on the long edge. And this is why you're going to keep your pinky on the long edge. This is essentially the entire move of the control. It's very, very simple. So what you're going to do is you're going to go from this position here to showing them the card. What it's going to look like is it's going to look like like you're just taking the card and putting it in but what you're doing is you're actually bringing your hand down and you're going to use your fingers here to slide this card over to the right so you're actually going to take the card and you're going to slide it just like this and your pinky is here because if it wasn't there you might accidentally slide that card further out than the edge and you want to leave it squared up with the rest of the pack so that's why you have your pinky there it'll just kind of lock that card in place once you bring your hand down so when you bring your hand down you're going to take your hand and you're going to place your thumb here on top your fingers go on the bottom and they're just going to be sliding that card to the right just like this and it's going to hit the pinky and it's going to stop right there so essentially what you've just done is you've taken the selection and you've moved it from this position over here to this position over here. And it looks like this face down card is still the selection because this is a double right here. And it just gives the illusion that this is the same card. So you're gonna show the card, 
bring your hand down, slide that card over, and then bring your hand back out and take this single card now, and you're gonna place this card here on top of the pile on the table. And now their selection is actually on the bottom of the pile in your hand. And now you're gonna transfer this pile from middle grip in your right hand to mechanics grip in your left hand. That's all you gotta do. And you're gonna do that as you ask the spectator to cut the pile on the table in half and complete the cut, which is going to essentially bury their selection in the middle. But this is not their selection. That, that is a random card. So you're gonna have them bury the card just like this. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have them pick up the pile, or you can do this yourself. It really doesn't matter. Whatever you prefer, you're gonna take the pile and riffle the pile in your hand to about halfway. And you're just gonna insert all these cards within this gap right over there. Just insert all those cards, square everything up. And now that card is on the bottom of the deck and that is essentially the entire control so it's very very simple i'm going to just go through it one more time so that you guys can lock it in your brain so you have the cards shuffled and this is what you're going to do so you're going to have them call out stop let's say they call out stop right over there it really doesn't matter where they say stop and as they call out stop you're going to pause for a minute and then riffle up two cards from the back get a pinky break kind of just gesture say all right so you could have said stop anywhere it's a completely free choice Transfer this to Biddle Grip here with a thumb break. You're going to bring the double card over just like this because this is two cards over here. You're going to bring it over to the side, out jogged, and now you're going to show them this card, which is the 10 of spades over here. So you're going to show them the card and make sure your pinky is on the long edge over here. And as you bring your hand down, you're going to take your hand and just kind of slide over that bottom card to the right. It's going to hit your pinky, which means stop. And then you're going to take this out jogged single card now, and you're going to take that card out and place it on top of the pile. And then transfer this pack to your left hand as you ask them to cut the cards in the middle, just like this. They're gonna do that, and then you're gonna pick up the pile, or they can pick it up, whichever you prefer. And you're gonna riffle down about halfway in your hand, and then insert all those cards into the gap, just like this. And now it really does look like their card has been buried in the middle but their card is on the bottom of the deck. So at this point, you guys can do whatever type of trick you wanna do. If you need the card to be on top for some reason, you can just overhand shuffle until you get that one card on top, just like this, and then their card will be on top. But yeah, if you guys wanna palm out the card, you can do this and then give them the deck to shuffle, and then you can just kinda of hold your hand like this and then there's the card right there. So I'm actually going to teach you guys how to do this little cool um, production here because I think that's a really cool thing to do with this trick if you guys want to do this. So essentially you are going to do the control. So let's do it one more time. So you have them call out stop. Let's say I say stop over there. Completely free choice. Um, it's this card over here, four of spades. And in the real performance, you don't want to look at the card. So you're just going to show them the card. You're going to look away and then you're going to bring your hand down, slide the card over to the right and then take the single card, put it down here and then cut the cards and then uh, bury this in the middle, just like this. And now what you can do is you can hand them the cards to shuffle. And what you're going to do is you're going to get a break on the bottom card because this is their selection on the bottom here. And what you're going to do is you're going to do a little gambler's cop where you're going to bring the entire deck back. And since you have a little break here, you're going to take all the cards, every single card here above that little card and move them forward in your hand. So now this card is just kind of held back right here and all the pressure is being held here between your ring finger and the base of your thumb just like this. So you can kind of squeeze and you can let go with all these fingers here because this is how the card is being held in your hand. And you're going to give them the deck. You're going to bring the deck away from this hand and pick it up with your right hand, give it to them and just practice this in a mirror because it should look like this. This is what your hand should look like to the spectator's eyes. It should look completely empty. So you're going to say, all right, so here, take the deck and it looks empty just like this, but in reality you have their card. So you're going to do this and then you're going to bring your hand over and just kind of place it on top of that card. At this point, you can take both your hands and just kind of hold them out like this and ask them what their card was. And you're going to say one, two, three, and you're going to bring your index finger in and then you're going to kind of apply pressure with your finger here and it's going to pop out from the base of the thumb and your fingers here will be grabbing onto it like this. So that's essentially what's happening. It's going from this position here and it's basically just flying out and you're catching it like that. That's basically what you're doing. So the card is here. You're going to bring your hand on top. Ask them what the card was. Just kind of move your hands to make it seem not as suspicious. Just be like, what was your card? Four of spades. You're going to go one, two, three, and there's the card just like this. Yeah, that's a really, really cool trick if you guys want to do that. But you guys can do whatever type of trick you want to do with this control. So anyways, guys, that is essentially the entire tutorial for this video. So I really hope you guys utilize this control in your own routines and tricks. I think you guys will benefit a lot from it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys for my next one. Bye.